John Wayne certainly had a rough exterior, but his final words were tragically tender. The actor's last declaration of love is truly a tearjerker. Cinema legend John Wayne boasted a truly impressive filmography, but more than that, his portrayals of rugged, no-nonsense characters against a backdrop of a romanticized American West turned the man born Marion Robert Morrison into an icon. With an acting career that spanned more than five decades, the Duke cemented his place in Hollywood as America's favorite swaggering masculine archetype of the era. Sadly, though, his toughest role may have come in real life as a man facing a difficult diagnosis. They found a spot on the x-rays. It was lung cancer. When Wayne was first diagnosed with lung cancer at the age of 57 in 1964, his advisors suggested he keep the news private because it would supposedly destroy his image, according to the New York Times. Wayne quietly checked himself into the hospital for treatment. After a successful surgery, he finally went public, stating, There's a hell of a lot of good image in John Wayne licking cancer, and that's what my doctors tell me. Wayne went on to make nearly two dozen more films and TV appearances, but his final movie proved to be his most poignant. In 1976's The Shootist, he played a grizzled gunslinger who had been diagnosed with the same disease he had. Just three years later, in 1979, Wayne received another diagnosis, this time stomach cancer. Six months later, he was on his deathbed. According to his daughter-in-law Gretchen Wayne, during a couple of hours of lucidity in which he accepted his imminent death, he said, it's been great. It was during a gallbladder surgery in January 1979 that doctors discovered a malignant tumor in Wayne's stomach, so they removed the organ. Still, the cancer continued to spread. In April of that year, Wayne made his last public appearance at the Academy Awards. He received a standing ovation and told the crowd, that's just about the only medicine a fella'd ever really need. Believe me when I tell you that I'm mighty pleased that I can amble down here tonight. Oscar and I have something in common. Oscar first came to the Hollywood scene in 1928. So did I. We're both a little weather beaten, but we're still here and plan to be around for a whole lot longer. Wayne died in a Los Angeles hospital on June 11, 1979, with several family members by his side. The actor had seven children from two of his three marriages. The descriptions of his last day, as told to author Scott Eyman in the book John Wayne, The Life and Legend, include the fact that Wayne, who had never been a religious man, converted to Catholicism and was baptized by a priest as he lay dying. According to family accounts, Wayne's wives were Catholic and his children were raised Catholic, but Wayne had referred to himself during his life as a Presburg Goddamnterian according to his son Patrick. Some of Wayne's last words came during his interaction with the priest, in which he agreed to be baptized, but not much else was verbalized on his part. Though many might have expected John Wayne's final words to reflect his tough and gritty persona, it seems that wasn't the case at all. Pat Stacy, Wayne's assistant turned lover and longtime companion, recalled of his last moments, his blue eyes were shining, he showed no pain, he seemed to be enjoying every moment of those three hours. On June 11th, the Wayne family was told that John wasn't expected to last the day. He had been semi-conscious during his time in the hospital, but that morning, according to John Wayne, the life and legend, Stacy asked him if he knew who she was. He replied, Of course I know who you are. You're my girl. I love you. After that, Wayne fell into a deep sleep from which he would never awake. His daughter Aisa wanted to be sure that her father knew his family was with him and that he was surrounded by love. She held Wayne's hand as his breathing became ragged, each breath further apart from the last until they finally stopped. The beloved actor was 72 years old.